Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're back today with a reaction to an album that I've been wanting to listen to for a few days now, but I've been a bit busy, so I'm only getting around to it now. It's Doja Cat and her album, newly released a few days ago, Planet Her. Now, I've been looking forward to this for months and months. Now that it's finally here, let's give it a listen. Before we get into it, guys, don't forget to subscribe down below, like the video, and turn notifications on because it really helps out the channel. Also, while you're down there, all my social media are in the description. Don't forget to follow those and keep up to date with my personal life. Now, let's just get into the album. Before we go into the track list, I have reacted to Doja on the channel before. I've reacted to her remix with... Ariana Grande and Megan Thee Stallion, 34-35. I've also done her Kiss Me More music video. I did Need To Know, her newest music video. I've done that as well. I've done Streets. And I can't honestly remember if there's anything else, but I've done a good few videos on the channel. Go check those out after this video and let me know what you think about them. Now, let's look at this track list for Planet Her. We're starting now with track number one, and this one is titled Woman. Again, these are all relatively new to me. I've heard Need to Know and I've heard Kiss Me More, I think it's titled. Those are the only two on the album, but I know there's features from Ariana Grande on here, The Weeknd. The Weeknd is another feature that I've reacted to, You Write, that I posted about a week ago now. Go check out that video, but we're starting with Woman and let's see what it entails. Oh. It starts a little bit reggae with this upbeat island type sound. Oh. I do like this song. I'm just sitting here vibing along, but it's a little bit too repetitive. The chorus, I find it a lazy way of writing. I find the repetition of woman a little bit too lazy. Oh, we're getting into some rap. I love how she plays with her voice, and I think she'll be doing that a lot on this album. I will repeat myself a lot, and I just want you guys to know from now, from track one, if I repeat myself, sorry, but I tend to do so. So guys, that was Woman, and again, I did find it a little bit repetitive. I just sat here in silence, just vibing along with the beat. It had that island-style upbeat flow. I did like it, but it will have to grow on me. We're going to move on now to the next one, and this one is titled Naked. It has a little bit of like R&B reggae in there. Oh, she's singing so delicately in this one. Oh, that high note. Oh, the flow is changing. Go turn up just a little bit. Oh, it increased there just that little bit and the speed has picked up a little now Dota's rapping. So guys, that was Naked and didn't have much to say about that one either. It kind of sounded similar to Woman, that reggae, upbeat, R&B vibe and... Again, I don't have much to say about that. We're going to move on now to the next one. And this is the first feature so far. And it is Young Thug. And the song is called Payday. Now, I wonder if this one will continue that island vibe. Or if there will be a switch up because there's a feature. Oh. Starts off a lot slower. I think that's guitar. Oh, 
I honestly love when Doja does this high pitch voice. She did it in her song Cyber Sex and it's kind of one of the fun and quirky things that I enjoy that she does. I can tell so far by the lyrics that we're just we're just boasting about being extravagant. It's payday, money, I've got what I want. I love how the beat stops, she starts the chorus and then it drops. I honestly do like that in the song. Now, Young Thug just came in and he came in with a high pitch just to match Doja and I've, I don't think I've heard much of Young Thug so I'm not sure what his sound is but they're vibing and they're meshing so well on this track and I'm loving the production so far I, I just have to say that I honestly really do enjoy it that was Payday with Young Thug and I enjoyed that one most so far. It was a bit repetitive like the others but I liked how she played with her tone and her voice and I liked how Young Thug came in. So that is a top tier song so far but we're going to move on now to the next one and this one when I saw the track list get into it yeah. I honestly thought this would be the feature with Ariana Grande because of the yeah at the end but it's not and we have that one to look forward to. Before we get into it, it's this. Get into it, yeah. Here, Jojo comes in again with that high pitched tone with the trap RB type beat. Oh! Let's, let's back and track this. Back in vocals. That was Get Into It Ya yeah, and it had one long ass outro. I did like the song, but again, it will have to grow on me. I don't know what's wrong at the minute. Maybe I'm not in the mood to listen to the album, but I don't seem to be vibing with it as much as I should be, I, I think. I love Doja, and this these tracks so far just aren't hitting. They don't just hit as typical Doja. So I'm hoping that the album improves over time, but let's move on now to the next one. The next one is one that we've already reacted to on the channel, Need to Know, and I really, really love this song. It did grow on me. I had mixed reviews in my reaction. Go check it out. It'll be linked up here. Go check that out. And now, listening to it, I honestly love it. We won't be listening to it now, but we're going to move on now to the next one. And this one is the feature with Ariana Grande, one that I've been looking forward to so much. You guys know I love Ari and I've reacted to a few of her songs on the channel and The Positions, Deluxe Tracks, 3435 Remix, there's been a few. So go check those out and now we're going to check out I Don't Do Drugs. Don't know what to take from this title but it's a positive message and one that I approve of. Let's listen to it. Are they singing together? I'm gonna pause it. I haven't paused the song yet, but I'm gonna pause this. I need to think. It honestly sounds like there's two voices. Is it Doja kind of harmonizing with herself? Is Ariana in the background? I'm not sure. I love the mellow vibe that comes in with it, but the production seems a little bit too heavy so far. I'm gonna listen and just give it my full thoughts at the end. Ooh. 
These high notes, I love them. I love how her voice changes in this one. She does the vocals. She does a little bit of talking and some... I, I just love it. Here's Ari. She said Doja Cat. I'm honestly loving this song. Honestly, so good. So chill. But their voices just, just match. This one is titled Love to Dream. And I'm hoping for something good. Hoping that it just kicks and I vibe along with it. Again, another long intro for a song. It's so chill. I love how chill and mellow this album is. But the production kicks. It's like two different worlds. All these high notes, just following I Don't Do Drugs to this. Oh my god. Doja. I don't think I've ever heard Doja sing like this. Oh my god. It's so mesmerizing. This is honestly my favourite so far. I know I've said that for one or two of the others, but this one... Just to sound... Sonically, it's so good. That was Love to Dream, and now you've been like this. This track... Don't know what to take from the title. I'm expecting it to sound like the others, but... Again, I'm so, so chill right now that I'm, I'm just vibing along and enjoying every song. This one's less than three minutes long, so I don't expect to talk much through it. But if something if something excites me, I'll let you guys know. Is this auto tune at the start? This altered voice, I I it just started. It just started. See, you've been changing, baby, in good ways and bad ways. Can I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with these, the sound. Don't get me wrong, I love Doja songs like Boss Bitch. And Say So, Cyber Sex. Those songs absolutely adore. But this is just 180, completely different. I'm curious to know if she'll rap in this one. I shouldn't have said a word. She's so quirky too. I love her tone of voice when she raps. It's so edgy and quirky. That was the quickest rap, like, not speed-wise, but it just lasted 20 seconds. Uh, been there, done, gone. That's it. This next one, guys, is You Right, and I've already posted my reaction to this on the channel. Go check it out. The music video I adored. So, so stunning. The graphics, the weekend, the weekend in this song just... Oh my god, loved it. So go check out that reaction, it'll be linked up there. I won't be listening to it now because I've already heard it. So let's move on now to the next one. And this one is Options and it has another feature on it. I'm not sure how to pronounce her name. Is it J-I-D? 
Jid. I'm not sure if it's male or female, but but I'm excited to hear the sound. So let's just try playing it into it. I am getting a little bit bored of these so mellow intros. They're so long and mellow, but I am loving the songs. Doja now. She's doing what she did in Cybersex again. That high pitched voice, that quick, fast, talkative rapping style. Pause. I'll be back in a minute. So, guys, I'm back and I took a little minute there just to recover from the shock of that. Now, I love when Doja does this in a song. As I've said, it's like a quick, talkative style rap in a high pitched voice. She did it in cyber sex. Let's continue the song. Yeah, Doja, you're so full of surprises. Is this the feature? I think it is. Now this is JD Jid. Not sure how to pronounce her name, but I'm wrong. This is the feature. How, how did I mistake Doja's voice there? I didn't recognize that she was singing so, so good that I didn't. I thought it was someone else. Not saying she's bad at singing, I just didn't. Let's go, let's get on. This song has me feeling so many different ways. Let's go back, take it back to the start of his vo his verse. And he comes in so smooth. Like that transition into his verse just... And can we address the production? Oh my god, it's like so hype and so good, but their singing is so smooth. There we go, Doja. I'm done. So guys, that was options. And if you couldn't tell so far, that's my favorite. Now, the feature, never heard before, but he... he, he Speechless. I'm speechless. I love that song. Probably going to be my favorite overall, but we still have a few more to go and I'm not, I'm not ruling them out yet. This one is titled Ain't Shit. Now, it could be aggressive. It could be a lot more upbeat. It could go so many ways. Let's just dive in. Oh, we're getting monologue. Times too much. Hold on. Hold on. I just had a thought. I just had a thought. Don't know if you guys know, but there's a YouTuber slash singer slash artist slash so many things he is todrick hall i don't know if you guys know him but if you're on youtube you probably do he is one of my f inspirations when it comes to just being confident in who you are now he has a song called yaz y-a-s and it stands for you ain't shit that's what this reminds me of so far it's basically being cocky and saying that you ain't shit I am who I am and I am confident in that. That is what I'm taking from this song so far. I'd advise you to go check out Todrick Hall and that song and then come back and listen to this one. Just do it. I 
I do like this song. I just find it a little bit... I, it feels like it just drags on longer than it should. I think the slow-paced chorus kind of stretches it out too much. But I do like it as a song. Now we're going to move on to the next one. This one is titled Imagine and it is less than 2 minutes and 30 seconds. It's less than 2 and a half minutes. Don't know what to expect for this one. The only thing I can think of is Ariana Grande's song Imagine. I doubt it will sound like that, but let's give it a go. Starts off again with a long intro. I, I feel like all the production in this album is kind of like a R&B trap type production. Now, I usually don't lean towards that genre or that type of music, but Doja does play with it with her vocals, with her tone of voice. Lyrically, she does have different ways of experimenting with it, and I do like that. I, I don't like this repetitive chorus of Imagine. Similar to Woman, I just think it's lazy writing for a song. It being 2 minutes 30 seconds and repeating the chorus and the one word in the chorus, it does just belittle the song. I don't think I'll listen to this song again. Now we're going on to the second to last song. This one's titled Alone. Now the last song we have heard before, I'm debating whether I should listen to it again, but before we get into it, let's listen to Alone. We're starting off with like an acoustic guitar type sound. Oh, that beat punches in. Oh, and it's so stripped back and mellow. And again, Doja coming in with the vocals. I am enjoying this song, but I feel like it will be one of those songs that will have to be listened to over and over again just to enjoy it that little bit more. Oh. I was honestly expecting some quick rapping or something, but this monologue fits so well. That was alone, and as I've said, it will have to grow on me a lot. I might just listen to it again, just to see where it will rank in my rating of the tracks. But before I do go and listen to this again, let's move on to the last song on the album, track number 14. This is Kiss Me More, a song I've heard, a song I'm hearing on the radio every day. It's thriving, it's a good song, it features SZA. Now, SZA, again, is someone I've never listened to before until probably this song. And if you guys want me to react to anything from SZA, comment below. Let me know if there is anything you think I might like or any albums, songs, videos, anything. Let me know down below. I have listened to this song and reacted to it on the channel. The link will be up here with the others. Go check it out. So this, this listen will just be me vibing to end the reaction and see if I still like it. I love how fun she was with the video and the storyline, but I will be skipping right through until we hear her singing.
So guys, that was the last track, Kiss Me More, on Doja Cat's standard edition of Planet Her. I do have a few things to say about it. Now, I liked it. It will be a grower for me. I will have to listen to it a few more times just to take in the lyrics, take in the songs, to enjoy it that little bit more. I will have to listen to it just in my own time. So with that being said, I will rate this album 8 out of 10. Not too low, simply because I did thoroughly enjoy it. I loved the quirkiness of her voice. I enjoyed the production a lot. I loved the features on this album. The features were top tier. They fitted every song so well. Usually when I listen to an album and there's a few features on it or more than two or three, there usually is one or two that I don't think match the song or I don't like on the album. This one, I like them all. So that's eight out of 10 for the album. And now on to a few other things. Kiss Me More. I like the song, but I don't understand why the last track on the album was a single. Usually when, when listening to an album or when an album is released or promoted, the last track is never usually a single. The only other album I can think of like this is Lady Gaga and Art Pop. Applause was the final track and it was the lead single. But that's just me. That's just my opinion. I find it strange. I don't see why you would do that, but that's just me. Doja obviously had a reason for it and it obviously worked because that song is everywhere on the radio. Now on to the next thing. There is deluxe tracks for this album. If you guys want me to react to those, I was going to add it in this video, but because it is 14 tracks, it is quite lengthy. I will do a separate video if you want me to. If this video gets 14 likes to match the 14 songs, 14 likes, I will do a video for the deluxe tracks on Planet Her. Now, all that cleared up. Guys, don't forget to subscribe down below. It really helps out the channel. I greatly appreciate it. Turn notifications on like the video. Let me know in the comments what your favorite song from the album is. Mine is probably Options. Options I absolutely loved. And with that feature, it fitted so well. So I did love that song. Let me know yours down below. And while you're down there, all my social media are in the description. Follow those. My Instagram, I'll be updating my story over the next few days of what songs I'm listening to when, and what songs have grown, and what songs I don't like as much. So keep an eye on my Instagram for the updates. My Twitter and my TikTok are all down there as well. Follow those, and I'll see you in the next video.